I thought you were with me. Da -da -da. He was playing my feelings. Turns out it was his fucking brother. Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Oh my god. So if you saw my Instagram story, I did say this is a little shaky. It's probably because my knee is on the fucking table thing. It's probably right, but it shakes. Okay, let me stop. Anyways, um <clears throat> if you have seen on my story, I did say I was going to do a story time. So, you know, why not do a story time? But before I get into that, I want to say a few things before I get into doing my makeup and into the story. Um, so, <clears throat> this month is August, and Sac Anime is coming up soon. So, after this month, it's going to be September, and Sac Anime is going to be 2nd through the 4th of September. So, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And if you guys want want to go to Sac Anime, obviously Sac Anime is in Sacramento, California. It's going to be in Sacramento downtown. And um, I'll put like you know the Sac Anime infos and you know my description and all that stuff, whatever. And um, I also got my nails done. Uh, it's kind of like the same as the last time that I've got it. The last time I got my nails, it looked like this. And now the nails I have on right now, it looks like this. So I'll even show y'all like this thing right here. It says Virgo. Um, my boyfriend's friend sister did it for me, and she did it really good and very well. She's like, I'm just a beginner. I'm like, girl, you're be you're a beginner, but you do it better than those lady that does it in a nail shop. And um. I went to go do like a little small online shopping, so I went on Shin and I bought this little cute bracelet. It's like, you know, a bit means bracelet ish, or to me, feels like it. And um, I got this cute little jade thing, it has like a little rose flower cross on it. And then I got this from San Francisco, and it's a Buddha uh, necklace thing charm. The color is kind of fading out already, so I think I might have to change the charm into like the original jade one. But other than that, yeah. So, um, wasn't that much, but it was, you know, something a little cute until my birthday actually comes and then I'll start posting or do whatever I want and all that stuff. But yeah. Um, <clears throat> also, I want to mention one last thing. Uh, I will, like how I did last time, I will be posting SAC anime vlogs from first, from the first day to the last day, which is the third day. I'm like putting four hands like as if it's gonna last four days. I wish, but it, well, I wish, but it's not going to. <clears throat> it's not gonna last that long. So today the story that I'm gonna be talking about is a personal story of how I used to have like, oh my God, my head, I have a headache. I don't know where the fuck. So the story that I'm going to be talking about is when I went to SAC Anime. I forgot what year it was, but I went to SAC Anime in my 8th grade year, I want to say. No, wait. My 7th grade. Yeah. My 7th grade year. So um, I went to SAC in my 7th grade year, and I met this guy, and I really liked it, him. And he said he liked me back, but he did. Turns out he didn't, and he was talking to somebody on the side. And I found out, and I was like, "Hey, like, who are you talking on the side? Like, what the fuck? Like, I thought you were with me." Da -da -da, and he was playing my feelings. Turns out it was his fucking brother, <laughs> like his actual blood brother. <laughs> and I found out that they did the dirty. <laughs> they really did. We're gonna get into that right While I'm now. editing this video, I forgot to say in the video that um, it's a story time while I do my makeup. Um, I thought I was recording the whole time when I was like doing my makeup, but I guess I didn't. So you're just gonna see me with concealer. All right, so um, I know I look funny right now because I haven't fully blended yet. I haven't really finished 
the look yet so that's why i look weird i look like a fucking asian raccoon but um i'm gonna be starting this story by saying like the actual beginning 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 like the first day like the first day when i woke up out of bed and then got ready and you know did all that shit all right, y'all. Sorry for that long ass intro. I'll be talking a lot. But anyway, let's get into the story. So it's my seventh grade year and it's on an early morning and it's a school day, basically Friday. And so before I leave the house, whatever, I ask my dad, like I'm in my pajamas and I ask my dad, my, hey dad, like, is it okay if I could stay home? Because, you know, I want to get ready to go to the convention. And usually when it's conventions and uh a, an event comes up he lets me stay home most of the time and i don't have to go to school and you know especially because it's just for one day so i was upset because he said no and i kept begging him and he was like okay how about this i'll let you go to school but i'll pick you up around fifth period or sixth period i was like okay right bet deal so off I went to school so, like, I'm in already fifth period. I'm hoping that my dad would pick me up. He doesn't pick me up in fifth period. So, I was like, what the hell? Like, I was hoping he'll pick me up in fifth period because, you know, co the con is already about to open. It's already getting ready and set up. So, I wanted to hurry up and go home and get ready because I'm like, um, I just want to get off right now. And so, I was thinking about going to the school office to see if my dad could pick me up and act sick. But I was like, uh, no, before I do that, let me see if my dad could pick me up first. If he doesn't pick me right now, then I'll wait for six period. If he doesn't pick me up six period, then I'll just go to the office. And then I get a text on my phone that my dad was like, Hey, I'll pick you up at six period around uh two ten. I was like, Okay. So fast forward, two ten comes around, my dad comes to pick me up and then drops me off home and he goes back to work. And so, um, I get ready and I'm so excited and mind you I forgot to say this but at the time my dad had a girlfriend and his girlfriend had a daughter she was like two two uh two years older than me I think I was like 13 14 at the time and she was 16 or 15 so actually wait, I was 14 and she was like 16 yeah oh yeah okay so I was 14 and she was 16 at the time so usually when I went to conventions I went with her specifically so she got ready and I got ready. And so um as soon as you know we were already getting dressed up and we're packed and we're all done, her mom takes us to the convention center and it was in downtown J Street in Sacramento downtown. So we went and I was like so excited and pumped up, ready to get my tickets and everything else. So we get into the convention center and we get our tickets and we have everything that we need. And so we just start roaming around and just exploring like the whole convention center and having fun and everything else. And then I see a couple of my friends. I meet a couple of friends or my cosplay friends online, take pictures, all that stuff and just have fun. And at the time I was doing Musical.ly. So I was doing some Musical.ly and posting them on Musical.ly and, like, posting my Instagram. Like, hey, everybody, come see me. I'm at the convention center. I'm at Psych Anime. So, like, I got tired of walking around and eventually got some snacks. And I'm like, you know, while I'm sitting here eating my snacks and just at Psych Anime, I don't have anybody with me but my sister here because that's what I called her back then. Why won't I just hit up my friend and see if he's going to attend a Psych Anime or come to Psych Anime? So, for my friend, we're going to name him guya for just uh privacy wise so i texted guya i was like hey guya are you gonna come to sack anime he's like hell yeah i'm gonna come to sack anime he's okay so my friends come along too i'm like hell yeah i would love to meet new friends you know and just vibe and chill and have fun you know it's a convention come on now so he's there i bet so he texts me like hey i'm here at the convention where you at and I tell him that, like, oh, I'm, like, in the, I'm in the booth. Because, like, that's where, like, all the merch and shit is at. So, I was, like, let me get out the booth and I'll meet you outside. And he's, like, okay, but. And so, I saw him with a couple of friends. And, um, we all started hanging out with each other. And all of a sudden, like, the dude that I like, let's name him, we're just gonna name him Weirdo. So, I looked at Weirdo for the first time, and I was like, oh my gosh, like, I actually have a crush on this dude. And it was just kind of weird, because I, I just met this dude, and I already have a crush on him. 
So, I didn't say anything to anyone for a while. I didn't say anything to my sister. I didn't say anything to Kuya or his friends. I just kept to myself for a bit. And so, Kuya was like, you know what? I'm hungry. Like, can we go get something to eat? And everybody was like, yeah. Like, we should go get something to eat. And um, I told uh, Kuya, I was like, oh, me and my sister already ate. Um, but, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to get another snack, you know, for later. And they're like, okay, yeah, bet we can do that. And so my sister, she was like, wait, before we get some food, let's smoke first. Because I want to get high, shit like that, or some shit. And so everybody agreed. And they're like, oh, hell yeah, let's get high first before we get some food, whatever. And I was like, okay, bet. Mind you, Weirdo had bought, like, I think it was like a vape pen. No, 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 it was a wax pen. He bought a wax pen with him. So we walk outside, and then we find a place, like, where should we smoke at and chill. And then we found a spot, and we just sat over there and chilled out. And then um, my sister started to get the blunt ready and everything else. So everybody's just doing their own thing on their phone or talking to each other or some shit. And then my sister goes, okay, I'm done rolling up. I'm going to take the first hit, though. So she takes her first hit, and then everybody else gets a turn and takes their hit, too. But weirdo, literally weirdo, was the one who kept taking, like, hella big hits. And my sister was just kind of mad because she was like, uh, first of all, I she didn't say to him, but then I could just tell by her face. She was like, first of all, I'm the one who bought the blend. I'm the one who this, this, da, 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 da. And so I could understand where her, where her frustration comes from. But I was like, damn, like, he's not even passing it to anybody. And I barely got high. I don't know about the others, but... It was just irritating. And then, um, I started talking to Weirdo and, you know, just making up a conversation. I was like, hey, so, what's, the, uh, what is this? And, ba obviously, I knew what the fuck it was, but I just wanted to start a conversation with him. And he was like, oh, that's a, that's my, uh, that's my wax pen. You want to take a hit? I was like, okay, sure. And I took a hit out of, I only took, like, one or two hits because it was too strong for me. So, I was like, okay. I said to him, I was like, I don't think I can take any more hits. And then he was like, oh, ha, ha it's good. I'm like, yeah, it's too strong for me. I, I only do And he's like, oh, all right, that's what's up. And I was like, yeah, so um, can I, like, get your Instagram or something? He's like, yeah, sure. So I followed his Instagram. He followed my Instagram. And I started liking all his pictures and everything. Like, literally, I'm telling you, I was obsessed with this guy. And... To give you a descri description of how he looked like, he was so, like, he was emo but dirty. I don't know how I fucking liked that shit, but maybe at the time I was just naive. But I'm telling you, he was emo and dirty. Like, you can tell, like, he didn't wash his hair. That's the reason why he fucking wore a beanie all the time. I don't fucking know how. I was attracted to this dude, but I was somehow one way or another. Maybe that's what I liked back then. I don't fucking know, but I don't like that shit no more. So, anyways, everybody's done smoking, right? And so we all go to, like, Subway or get some pizza. It was either one of the two. So we go in and order what we want. And, you know, like, we're hella tired of standing up and everything. Because we've been walking around the con and all that stuff for hours and hours. So this was, like, our break time to just, you know, sit down and chill. My ass wanted to sit next to uh, the weirdo. And so I sat next to him and he was on his phone, like, doing his own thing. Like, you could just tell that. He wasn't really into me like that. And I was, like, over here trying to start another conversation with him. So I was like, so, uh, what school do you go to? Do you live here? And shit like that. And he was like, oh, I forgot what school he said he went to. But I was not going to say that for, purpose, for privacy reasons. But I forgot what school he said that he went to. And I think he was like, oh, I don't live around here. Like, I'm just here to visit because my friends are here. And, you know, I'm here because the con and all that stuff to have fun. And so I was like, oh, okay. And I just kept smiling at him and everything. And then he was like, but you know, you cute. And so I got all flustered and everything. I was like, really? You think that I'm cute? He's like, yeah, I think you're the cute. And then he and then he was on his phone. And he went to my Instagram page. He's like, this you right here? And it was like a picture of me cosplaying as another character from another anime series. And I forgot what it was. But he was like, this you right here? I'm like, yeah, that's me. And he's like, oh, you cute. Oh my god, this is so cringy. But yeah, and so... Um, that's when I thought that he liked me back or something. Or I felt like he was just trying to hint at me of something. Or for something. 
or he was trying to tell me something. I was like, do you like me? I didn't say to him, but then, like, I was thinking to myself, like, does this dude like me or something? Or is he trying to get at me or something or whatever? So I went to go tell my sister, and I pulled her to the side. I was like, hey, I think Weirdo likes me. She's like, you like that guy? He's not even attractive. Like, he looks, he's just weird, and he's just chubby. You like him? I'm like, well, he's a chubby face and a skinny body. And she's like, telling me, she's like, girl, he stank. You want that? And then my bum ass was like, you know what? You don't even know how it feels like to like somebody. You're just a hater. And I walked away from her, which was like so fucking cringy. But honestly, she's not wrong though. He's he's literally ugly. I don't know why. I don't know how I liked him. So fast forward, like it's getting dark and it's like around like five or six ish. So um, we all get hungry again. And he was, uh, Kuya was like, uh, do y'all want to go eat at Denny's or something? And we all agree, we're like, hell yeah, you know, because everybody's having fun, everybody's vibing and shit. And so I was like, yeah, I would love me some Denny's. So he's like, okay, bet. So we went in his car, and we all went to Denny's. And we ordered what we wanted to order. I took off my wig because, you know, I didn't want people to see me and, like, what the hell I was wearing and shit. And so, um, I took it off, and he was like, uh, what you get, what you order? I forgot what I ordered, honestly, but I'm going to just say that I probably ordered, like, hash browns and bacons or some shit like that. So, like, as we're waiting for our food, like, he's, like, on his phone doing whatever he's doing. And I'm just, like, you know, like, kind of, like, giving him the side eye looking what he's doing on his phone because, like, I was, like, hella nosy. And so, I wanted to try to get his attention or something. And so, I was, like, hey, you know, like, um... Do you mind if I lay down on your shoulder because, or lay my head on your shoulder because I'm kind of tired? And he was like, oh yeah, I don't mind. I'm like, hold on, wait, hold on, my lashes though, they look good. I gotta, hold on, okay, gotta see how I look like with the other one. Yeah, that looks good on me. So yeah, everybody food comes in and we put down our phones or whatever the hell we was doing. And we start eating and we eating and talking. So, everybody's just talking about the con and everything and how hot it was and everything. Cause it, I'm not going to lie. It was actually hot during that time. Anyways, um, so, fast forward, you know, everybody's done eating. And some of us takes our food to go. And so, like, everybody, you know, is, like, getting ready to go home and stuff. And I was like, no, like, I don't want us to, I don't want anybody to go home, you know. Like, I want to have a little bit more fun. And so, Kuya was like, all right, well, what else do y'all want to do? And my, I think it was my sister that bought it up. She was like, ooh, let's go watch that scary-ass movie, Truth or Dare. And we were like, ooh, yeah. And it was the perfect timing because, you know, like, Psych Anime was already there. And it was already starting. And they were playing the movie Truth or Dare. So I was like, oh, hell yeah. Like, let's go, like, watch that movie Truth or Dare. And we were, we were all hyped up. And everybody's like, yeah, let's go to the movies. So, like, literally the movie is, like one block away from the convention so <clears throat> we just walked to the movies and we got our tickets and popcorn and watched the movie so fast forward like we already in the movie theaters and we watching the movie and stuff and i'm not gonna lie like truth or day it wasn't even that scary i just kind of felt like it was stupid and weird it wasn't even like that like oh my god this shit's so scary you gotta watch it type of feeling it was just like eh, it's the right type of feeling but there was kind of like jump scares and shit that i didn't like so whenever like there was like scary parts i would literally like hide my face into weirdo's chest and he would hug me and like hold me and play with my hair he'd be like it's okay like it's not real it's not real and like i'm literally burning my face into his chest and he's like you good i'm like yeah i'm good and then you know the movie ends and we all come out of the movie theaters, and we all give our own ratings, what we thought about the video. And I'll say it wasn't even all that. My sister was like, uh, it's not all that good, but I mean, it's okay, but I like it. It's just, it's not that scary. It doesn't give you that spook. It's kind of like, it gave me like an adventure of solving the puzzle type of game and then getting out type of thing. That's what it gave me. And then finally, this is where everybody said their goodbyes, and they're like, all right, I'll see you tomorrow or some type of shit or some shit like that and then like me being the desperate ass hoe that i was i was like wait weirdo and he turned around he was like yeah what's up i was like uh can i get your number before we leave and he was like oh but you got my instagram right don't you i'm like yeah well i just thought that you know like 
can I have your number just in case, you know, if anything goes wrong? He's like, oh, okay, I guess. So he gave me his number. And then he left with Guya and his other friends. And then, you know, with that being said, I went home as well. So, yeah, then I come home from the con, right? And then I get a text message from Weirdo. And he's like, hey, you home? I'm like, yeah, I told him that I'm home. So I'm like, yeah, I'm home. Why? And he's like, oh, I got a question for you. I was like, okay, ask away. And he was like, uh, do you think you can send me some pictures? Ooh, bro. But I'm going to leave it there for now. I'm going to post a part two sooner or later. But if y'all like this story time and redo my makeup and all this stuff, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, but you know, thank you for watching.